Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a, another look at VR Hot, which has added a new feature for people who want to play with the custom character editor in 2D via the desktop. So, what I've done is I've loaded the game via, without my headset, uh, mixed reality headset plugged in. And I've managed to launch the game by lowering my monitor from 4K down to 1440p. That seems to get it working. If you do it at a higher resolution, then you get uh, menu options that have blank boxes. So this seems to work fine. So what this means is you've got a bit more sort of readily to sort of control and look at the character and tweak the features and such like without having to be in VR, which is quite handy. It's also good in the fact that now people that don't have VR headsets should be able to sample the game. So basically with this kind of um, project, you can control this sort of AI character. And I'm not sure you're gonna get any of the um, stuff in this particular mode of her sort of talking. Yeah, you can bring up a menu and order her to do things like sit down on the desk on the bed on the table new bed color here as well in this recent update she can walk to the window look out the window and do all sorts of other things including some adult stuff as well which we're not going to get into in this video as you can see she's got some new idle animations as well so what i'm going to focus on in this video is the sort of 2d customization rather than what you can do in the menu i mean i can get her to go and sit on the chair there on the sofa which has got a new color T will do that after that command you can actually use voice commands to do that which is pretty good and she will now be sitting now on here which is pretty fantastic so looking at the character customization this is the important part of this as far as I'm concerned although yeah if you haven't been able to play this before then um being able to do it in 2D is pretty good. But as I said, I'm not sure you're getting all the full features. So, bring up the menu. Nope, not that one. Bring up the menu. She's gonna start pulling some funny faces. And you can now, I'll load the original character. So this is the original character that that was based on. Um, and you can see it's quite a lot of difference between the two. If I just move that out of the way and move the menu out of the way you can sort of get a good close-up and she'll start moving around and whatever she's using some nice detail on the character model and you've got various hair clothing options it's sort of the standard stuff that you'd expect from a set of character customization tools so that was the base model that i'd already sort of edited to make it my own kind of got an asian looking flavor to it then if I go back to the menu and load my edit now that I've just done, that's my sort of edit of that character now. I've changed the hair, changed the makeup, changed the eye, and um, some of the facial features as well, which is pretty damn cool. So you can add sort of accessories like glasses. Um, let me see that here. Uh, let's have a look. Um, da, 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 da. go to glasses I mean there could be more options whoops there could be more options in this and hopefully they will add more at some point um, you kind of get the point kind of cool and then you've got all the various um, clothing so you've got the cap as well Just to change the hair Obviously, you've got to tweak your sort of hairstyles to suit. So let's um, really, let's edit this particular character. Make it as a new character in a different save slot. So she's slot number four. If I save her in slot number 10 now, and let's sort of just sort of tweak this looking look of this character. So first of all, I'm not going to go with anything on the shape. I mean, again, you can... Um, 
change the shape of the character quite easily with the size of what you want and I can actually demonstrate that with some of the other characters I've created already but first of all let's just focus on the um, face for the moment so various hairstyles so let's just change that to short hair um, let's, let's give her a bit more different color a bit of a tint, tint of red in the hair there and um, if you want to go sort of a more auburn and I can do that you can see there's a slight sort of highlight of black around there as well which is good I'm going to change that to long hair um, ponytail which is quite nice and then let's just change that color I think there's a few preset colors as well here which you can just quickly cycle through to kind of nice I think black really suits her she's looking really nice and um, yeah great so that's hair changed her hairstyle colors pretty much the same as the other character and she doesn't want to keep still and um, yeah there should be an option to sort of pause the uh, character but I think as soon as you push uh, things like makeup she will then pause for you like that so you can sort of pan the camera get up close and personal and there you go she's kind of slightly moving so if we go to the lip makeup we can sort of change that to a different color I mean you've got different options to cycle through the color spectrum as you see fit let's just go for a sort of dark browny sort of color keep that sort of gothic style but not too intense still make it red that's fine um, yeah so you've got all these eyeliner styles as well dark eyeliner really sort of changing the look now and then you've got blush styles as well which you can change the color of again it's kind of subtle but you can adjust the sort of brightness and intensity of that as you can see now kind of very subtle effect um, if I go to shape and go back to the eyes no colors sorry um, you can then change these colors as you see fit kind of nice so you can see that sort of um, heavy makeup that I've put on her now the eyeliner does look a bit too heavy so if I just sort of tone that down a bit so it's not so intense no nope, that's the wrong one don't mind the blush uh, it's the eyeliner is kind of very heavy so let's just put that there yeah style oh that's kind of intense Yeah. Uh, style three, I think, is probably the best. Okay, she's really beautiful looking now in that particular shot. So let's look at some other stuff as well. Um, let's take a look at her. I've got to come out of here. Go to shape. And she needs to keep still. So now let's sort of tweak the sort of face shape now this is where it gets a bit interesting now she's not going to keep still um, you can really tweak these the face to suit look as you can see they're quite I mean this is standard stuff that you're going to get in lots of other um, tools and obviously you can tweak to suit your preference old young you know you can just do all of this so it makes quite a big difference and then you can sort of do the fine details to suit 
So, things like the mouth now. You might think, well, she's got big lips. So what I can do is sort of change the mouth height. Keep that there. Uh, mouth size, bring that down just a little bit. And already she's kind of looking very different to how she was a second ago. Um, things like the eyes as well is quite important to change the... Um, Let's see if we move the whip, for example, that sort of really changes the look of the face quite dramatically. But she needs to keep still for me to do this. Yeah, so there needs to be sort of a pause button to stop her from moving around so you can get a good feel of how she's actually looking. She's kind of, um, there you go, not sure what actually makes that happen. So if we go back to the face, um, eyes. I think it's the eye whip that I was just moving there. Anyway, we'll just leave it at that for now. Come caught her in a funny face. And then um, cheeks, cheekbones, bring those in or out. So you've got all these options, which are pretty cool. And it's, um, yeah, it's fairly easy to mess around with in this sort of 2D mode to get a good feel of what she's looking like. Except she's now stuck pulling that face. So let's go back to the um, colors, the eye color. Change it to brown eye color. Again, she's just very different looking now to what she was a second ago. And if we go back to the hair, to sort of change that colour a bit more, make it a lot different. Keeping that sort of red, we can go a bit more funky. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's great. And as you can see, you've got all these slots available to um, mess around with. So let's just show you some of the other characters I made. Alright, so here's another character. So again, change the sort of size of this character. Um, let's just move the menu out of the way so you can see that. Different kind of body shape. Um, so you can experiment with getting different shapes of body to suit your preferences, which is kind of cool. And um, yeah, she's got these idle animations, which is kind of nice as well. But obviously, this is a much better experience in VR. And um, then if I just want to show you quickly um, the colors and change the skin tone. She's a bit dark, white, light looking. So you can change that. If you want to go completely crazy, you can do stuff like that as well. Now let's load the next character. Again, similar shape to the other one, but she's got glasses and different clothing. Get the point, and then we'll go to the next. Again, sort of bigger sort of character. Just to show you, you don't have to go for slim looking characters you've got options to change the um, thickness of the character which is good and as you know there's cloth physics in this as well so you can sort of um, mess around with the clothing yeah again she's kind of a bit pale looking so let's just load up the character that I originally did then so let's just go back and load up number 10 yeah, so you've got to be careful with the um, when you're saving this. It's uh, that's it, and I think you can change the eye. I mean, you can change the eye angle in a to do things like that. You know, so you'll get a different kind of look for your character. Um, I think her chin is kind of um, a bit pointed. So if I do the chin, uh, let's have a look. 
Jewel height, yeah, jewel height should come up a bit. So that's made her look very different now, but if I, it's the mouth now that doesn't look right. So go back to the mouth and change the mouth height, as you can see. But again, they're pulling funny faces, these characters, as you can see, always, always moving. I think the eye size is perhaps a bit too big. Bring that in a little bit and go to the nose and just narrow that a tiny little bit nose width there and then the nose tip width septum is fine nose tip width just bring that in a little bit and then again if we just change that eye color um, back to the blue She's looking lovely. Very sweet. Butter wouldn't melt. I think she heard me as well. Yeah, there is voice commands in this. And, um, yeah. I'm not sure which is the best color for her. But yeah, it's really nice, and um, it's good that you can do this on your desktop now. So I'm going to leave it at that. This is VR hot without the VR. So yeah, if you want to just mess around with these sort of characters and see how the game evolves. Yeah, those brown eyes look very nice for her. Then, um, you know, you can... Um, invest in this early access game and um, see where the developers take it whoops yeah she's great I mean there should be an option to stop all the expressions but I think that sort of makes it more realistic and there's my VR character just sat there on the floor I mean you can change that as well Oh my gosh, horrific. You can edit your character. But that's for VR. At the moment, yes, that is kind of um, an evil kind of look she's got there. Right, let's leave it at that. Let's save this one first before I forget. Uh, she was slot 10, I think. So a hottie card. Now, I'm not sure. There's a way to um, take a snapshot. Of your character and um, there you go look press right stick while holding I'm not sure if you how to do that outside of the um, VR so yeah anyway I'm Rob Cram thanks for watching and I'll be posting a more in-depth look on my other channels uh, more ad adult channels and you can see more of the um, other stuff that this game has but yeah she's lovely looking in my opinion okay thanks for watching